Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the shunt generator. In this session, we will go discuss about the DC shunt motor. So this is the motor shunt. So a simple thing, motor means which takes the electrical input and which will generate the mechanical output. So for that, so we should give the electrical input somewhere here. I am giving the electrical input. That electrical input is the V. This is the supply voltage. The supply voltage is you should take. It is the load current, and this current will be divided into two parts. One current will be entered into the armature, and motor is always represents with the M, and remaining current will be coming to the field. That field is connected parallel. Whenever the field is connected parallel, so you can name it as F and FF. No problem. Anything which is connected to parallel, that's why it is called as the shunt field. So we can name it as the shunt field resistance RSH. RSH. So whenever we are giving the electrical supply, the given required field is produced by the shunt field, and the motor will be rotates. So whenever supply voltage is given, the motor will be rotates. The rotation will be. The rotation will be. Represents like this. Rotation will be. Represents. Represents like this. So 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 the motor will be rotates in this format. Motor always clockwise. Generator always anti-clockwise. So this will be generates, okay? It will generates. But every motor have a common term. Every motor has it's a having some generator characteristics. That's why it will generate some EMF across the armature that is called as the back EMF. That is called as the back EMF. The reason is in every motor there is a generator action. The generated EMF is the back EMF. Okay, so we can write it as now we can produce these equations. So we will write you know some terms already. E B represents back EMF name itself. It is a back EMF. V is the supply voltage, input supply voltage. IL is the load current, or we can name it as the input current. Input current or load current, any current is the same. You know, shunt current is the armature current. So now we can write the equation, which is the source. Source is here. The voltage is the source. So by using that, we can write the equation is like this. The equation is the supply voltage. Supply voltage is the input. That's why input will give. Back EMF plus armature has some resistance. The drop is armature drop that is the IARA, and it has the brushes. That's why it has the brush drop. You can name it as the brush drop. So this is about the generally the equation. So we can give a relation between the armature current, load current, and shunt current. How we can give the relation current relation? So this load current will travel from the armature as well as the shunt. So we can name it as the load current will be equal to the armature current plus the shunt field current. Armature current plus shunt field current. Okay? Yeah. So we can write some equations. From this, how can we find out the shunt current? So I will write the shunt current formula equal to the uh, the the voltage. We can supply voltage both are same. We will write the supply voltage equal supply voltage. This voltage across the field and this voltage both are same. We can write V by R S H supply voltage. We can write another equation. From this, we can find out any equation, no problem. But 
how can we find out the armature current generally brush drop is approximately equal to zero negligible from this how can we find out the armature current therefore armature current we can write voltage minus back em by the armature resistance so by doing the supply voltage minus back em by the armature resistance we will find out the armature current okay this is about the dc shunt motor this is about the dc shunt motor okay so just observe here dc generator is generated emf equal voltage plus drop here armature current equal this is the value here the shunt motor the armature current equal this is the value and shunt current equal this is the value so this is the difference between this shunt motor next the next machine is the series machine in that first we will go for the series generator series generator means so it, it should be the generator represents with the g only and it has a emf will be generated in the armature a and aa and this is the series field so every field have some resistance that's why it is also have some resistance that is represents with the rse and here the field e is connected series with armature we can write field connected in series in series with armature with armature that's why both are connected in series and so the it will be it generates emf that is the eg and that generate emf will be applied to the load this will be applied to the load this will be given to the load so you know load will produce some voltage we can take it as the v and the the load entering current will be the il and the same current is flowing from series also series winding and this is nothing but the armature current okay so here the most important thing is here the generated armature current the field current and the load current all the currents will be the same that is the important thing so we observe here the armature current generated armature current the same current will be flow from the series field so that's why it is equal to the series field current and the same series field current and armature current will flow through the load current that's why it will be equal to the load current okay this is the first thing what is the second thing and you have to write the voltage equations so for that voltage equations if you observe here the emf generated source is here and this is the drop this will be the drop and this will be the drop just write the emf equation so how can we write so here the generated emf eg equal it has the armature armature have some drop that is the ia into ra plus and same current armature current will be flow through the series resistance ra ia into rsc plus it will be entering into the load voltage v okay and we have the brushes again we have the brush drop but the brush drop is the negligible the brush drop is the negligible from this we can find out so if you approximately brush drop will be equal to zero the equation is like this eg equal to, if you common the armature current then armature resistance plus series resistance equal plus v load voltage we can find out the armature current value armature current ia equal to, so that is eg minus v by total resistance that is the armature resistance plus the series resistance armature resistance plus series resistance so this is the for the series generated generated emf value and the armature current value so if you compare with the 
shunt generator the generated emf equation is different and armature current is different here also this is the different and this is the different okay so so when you come to the series generator a simple thing the both armature and series both armature and this is the field don't confuse it this is the field wherever the winding is there that is the field both armature and field are connected in series that will be connected to the load only so that's why it is called as the series machine so just look at here here the field is there it is the armature both are connected in parallel that's why it is the shunt thing so this is series generator series generator all the currents will be the same but shunt is different it's not like that and both the equations are different okay so this is about the series generator okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you